Today, we'll be treating the Faraday's law of electrolysis. We have two laws that was actually stipulated by Faraday. So the first law states that when an electric current is passed through a solution, that the weight of the substance deposited or liberated at the electrodes is directly proportional to the quantity of charge passed into the solution. So we can say that W is directly proportional to Q, where W is the weight of the substance deposited and Q is the amount of charge that was passed into the solution. Now we can introduce the proportionality constant which we know as our Z, Q. So what is Z? So Z is the electrochemical equivalent. So Z is the electrochemical equivalent. Now, how can we calculate the quantity of charge that has been passed into the solution? Once we know the current passing that has been passed to the solution, we can easily calculate Q because current is the amount of charge flowing into a conductor per unit time. So we have that I, which is the current. So we say current I is equal to the quantity of charge per unit time. And Q, which is measured in Coulomb, all over seconds. So the unit of this, this will give us the ampere. So once we know the current and the time, we can easily calculate the quantity of charge that was passed into a solution. So making Q subject to the formula, we're going to obtain that Q is equal to IT. Now, what is electrochemical equivalent? How can we define this? So the electrochemical equivalent is the weight of the substance deposited when the charge or the quantity of charge passed to the solution is equal to one column. So let's calculate this. We have that W is equal to ZQ. So that Z is equal to W over Q. So when Q is equal to one, so when Q, when Q is equal to one column, we now have that Z is equal to what? W. Consider what we have here. We now have that Z is equal to W. So that gives us the electrochemical equivalent. So when the weight of the substance uh, is equal to this Z, we'll say that this is the electrochemical equivalent. Or in general, the electrochemical equivalent is the weight of the substance deposited when the quantity of charge passed to the solution is one column. And in such situation, we have that Z is equal to the Now, let's consider the demonstration of Faraday's law. Let's just assume that this is an element which has a valency electron of plus one, gains an electron so that the atom will be what? Deposited. Now, we have that uh, one E will give us uh, one atom of N, give us one atom of n and in that same way we have that one mole one mole of this electron will give us one mole of what atom now remember this is an ionic equation and a cathodic half reaction for that matter so we have that one mole of electron will give us one mole of this atom we just have one electron here and then the same one electron give us one atom of this very what uh, element now but we know that one mole of any substance, one mole of substance, will give us the Avogadro's constant. One mole of any element will give us the Avogadro's constant. And what is the Avogadro's constant? We have is 6.02 times 10 raised power what? 23 of anything built and let's say atom. So what does that mean? So it implies that one mole that one mole of E will give us 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 electrons. Are you following me? So that's what exactly what we're going to have. Since one mole of the substance will give us 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 of the substance. So if you have one mole of uh, the electron, it will still give us 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 electrons. So that is just the way it works. But the charge charge 
of an electron, the charge of an electron is equal to 1.6, approximately 1.6 times 10 raised power 19, okay, minus 19 is the charge of one, one mole of electron is equal to 6.023 times 10 raised power what? 23 electrons. Idea. So we are trying to get what will now be the charge of 6.02 times 10 raised power 3 electrons. If one electron will give me 1.602 times 10 raised power minus 19, uh -huh, then I will have that one mole of electron is equal to 6.0323 times 10 raised power 23 electrons. So we we'll have one E will give me 1.602 times 10 raised power minus 19. Then 6.023, what will be the charge? Electron, what will it give me? We will cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we have that the charge will now be equal to, it will be uh, approximately 96500C. Approximately 96506. And this very uh, charge we have here, we'll call it the, the Faraday's constant. So this is equal to, the Faraday's, the Faraday's constant on one mole of electron charge on one mole of what electron? So one mole of any electron contains a total charge of ninety six thousand five hundred coulomb, and we refer this as the Faraday's constant. So we can say that one mole of electron has one f since this is the Faraday's constant.